Hey everybody, I would like to do a video on the 2003 Red Sox yearbook. And as you can see, this is where they start getting a little more bigger. Because, I mean, they started off making these yearbooks small, then bigger. Now they make them small again. And as you can see on the cover, it shows the Grady Bunch Red Sox players on the front of the cover. As well as on the... in here. And to give you a hint, it shows the backs of the players for which the Grady Bunch players they are on the cover. Which is a pretty cool touch, actually. Just want to show you that. And then that's a fact about the Red Sox's logo, because 2003, they sported a new look for the 2003 regular season. All right, that's 2003 schedule. Alright, that's something special to me. We'll get to the important part. And of course we got here Grady Little, the Red Sox manager who was most infamous for not taking Pedro Martinez off the mound in the 2003, in Game 7 of the 2003 ALCS against the Yankees, which of course caused the Red Sox to lose that game, and he was hated. So yeah. But, I mean, I will give Grady Little credit, though, for rebuilding the Red Sox in 2003. Because once the Red Sox got David Ortiz, Bill Muller, and Bronson and Royal, they just completely turned around. It's a fact about him. It's the coaches. And now we're on to the players. We got Pedro Martinez, which he led the majors in 2002 with a 2.26 ERA. Let's see, Norman Garcia Parra broke the record for shortstops with 56 doubles in 2002. Manny Ramirez won the 2002 American League batting title. We got Derek Lowe. Third pitcher to have both 40 safe seasons and a no-hitter, which he threw on April 27th, 2002. Tim Wakefield. It's a little facts about him, which you can pause to read it if you want. Jason Veritek. Career-high 16-game hitting streak. Johnny Damon. First in the American League with 2002 and trip with 11 triples. Trot Nixon. Shea Hillenbrand. Got Todd Walker. Kevin Miller. which he actually reached the base safely for 43 straight games and hit safely for 25 straight games in 2002. John Burkett, who's one of the only five MLB pitchers, pitchers to have made more than 25 starts each year in the 1990s. Casey Fossum. More profile facts, of course, as usual, which I'm not going to read them all because... Some of them aren't that special, and they, some of them are. That's Romero, Romero Mendoza. I forgot to mention him. And like with every yearbook, it shows their autograph and their number and the position they play. Alan Embry. Which he's one of the 11 relievers in 2002 to post a 2.03 ERA or better. Doug Mirabelli, he went an entire se season. He went the entire season 2002 without an error and threw out 51 percent of the runners attempting to steal. Jeremy Giambi, with this, this is Jason Giambi's brother, and he became and in 2002 he became the first MLB player 
to hit eight or more home runs in both leagues before the All-Star break. And he actually played on the Red Sox on three. Got Bill Muller. His brother Jason Giambi played on the um, Athletics, Yankees, the Rockies. He played on the Athletics twice, the Yankees, Rockies, and the um, Guardians. That's who he played on. Bill Muller, which he led all the San Francisco Giants starters in batting average when he hit a 2.92, or sorry, .292 during his rookie season in 1997. David Ortiz, he had a 19-game hitting streak for the Minnesota Twins in 2002 and was the MVP of the 2003 Caribbean World Series. Damian Jackson had over 95 stolen bases in the last four seasons, including a National League Rookie Best 34 in 1999. Mike Timlin made a career high of 72 appearances in 2002. And then who else do we have? Chad Fox. Yeah, and Chad Fox was, was named the Milwaukee Brewers most the MVP in 2001 for holding teams scoreless in 54 of his 65 appearances. Pretty impressive, huh? Brandon Lyon. He made his first career relief appearance on, a, on May 28, 2002, pitching for the Blue Jays against the Red Sox at Fenway. Steve Woodard. Kevin Toller. Bob Howry. Or Howry, sorry. I didn't mean to pronounce his last name wrong. Some of these players aren't familiar from, to me, so I can't really pronounce the last names correctly. I do apologize for that. But, uh, yeah. Most of these players I'm familiar with, though, like Big Poppy. Like Robert Person. Which he set his career marks with the Pirates in 2001 with team highs of 15 wins and his 33 starts. Adrian Brown. Jason Scheel. Hector Almonte. And then Bronze on a Royal, which he tied for the 2002 AAA Pacific Coast League with three complete games and two shutouts, while ranking second with a 2.96 ERA. And Bronze on a Royal actually played for a long time, but of course he had to retire because he kept getting hurt because that's what happens when you're old and you're a pitcher, then you get beat up more. Yeah, and David Ortiz also played for a long time. So did Tim Wakefield, Jason Veritek, and Pedro Martinez. They played it for a long time. All right, anyways, we got Luke Hollier. Caesar Crespo, Ryan Roop, or Rupe, I'm sorry if I pronounced that last name wrong, Freddie Sanchez, Earl Snyder, Andy Shabilo. Who 
Julio Zulata. And then we got Sox on the rise, which we got Jorge De La Rosa, Anastasio Martinez, Angel Santos, Kevin Euclid, which he was on the Red Sox from 2004-2012, and then the White Sox in 2012, Yankees 2013-2014. And then other Sox, other Sox players on the rise, you got Matt, Matt White, Dickie Gonzalez, Ryan Cameron, and then Greg Montalbano. And then these are the farm stats from 2002. And then the views from Fenway section. Which in 2003, Fenway got the monsters, the new 280 monster seats. And that provided fans a whole new outlook atop baseball's most famous landmark. And here's some sections about some facts about the monster seeds. And of course, in this picture, the legendary Ray Charles tickled the Ivories at the Rain Check 2003 opening day game. Faithful fans saw the debut of Fleet's new information boards and former Sox. Great salute of the children of American servicemen. And in this section, the one and only Lou Rowles needed the brand new Reds, Red Red Sox warm-up jacket to counter the elements as he sang the national anthem at the opener rescheduled as an August day day game. And in this picture, Dom DiMaggi, DiMaggio and Johnny Paskey led the tribute to Ted Williams on July 22nd, 2003. And, a, and an incredible outpouring of love for the greatest hitter who ever lived, which Johnny Paskey died in 2012. And they were one of the Red Sox legends. And here's a picture from the touchdown. The 2002 Red Sox season opened with a Super Bowl champion New England Patriots driving about 100 yards or so from Fenway's Green Monster, the first baseline, to be greeted by Red Sox players. And Teddy Bruschi tackles Manny Ramirez here. Because in 2001, the Patriots won the Super Bowl, which was their first title. And in this picture, the 2002 Major League Soccer Cup finalist New England Revolution got revved up for their 2003 season on the stable pitch of Fenway.
and this is a cute picture, but um, happy holidays. Fenway served as a fun setting for neighborhood goblins on Halloween while Santa Veritek hoisted the elf in training as Red Sox staff spread the Christmas cheer for the Jimmy Fun. And then these are the rest of the staff, the staff members for the Red Sox. The Red Sox and the Jimmy Fun. And then this is the class of two thousand two Hall of Fame. These are all the players in it. Rick Burleson, Dave Boo Ferris, James Lou Gorman, John Harrington, Cecil Tex Houston, George Duffy Lewis, Jim Longborg, Fred Lynn. And then these are the rest of the Hall of Famers. Which are all the Red Sox legends. And these are career statistics. So I'll show them right here. And here's Adrian Brown. I'll read off what team some of the players play for for the Red Sox. He was on the uh, Pirates, then the Red Sox. John Burke at Giants, Marlins. Rangers, Braves, then the Red Sox. Luke Collier was on the uh, Pirates, then the Brewers, then the Expos, and then the Red Sox. And of course, I'm not going to mention what teams Johnny Damon played for, because I mentioned that in my video of the 2002 Red Sox yearbook. So I'm not going to mention that. Alan Ember was on the Indians, which they were called that during the time for the Guardians. Braves, Giants, White Sox, Padres, and then the Red Sox. And Chad Fox was on the uh, let's see, Braves, Brewers, and then Red Sox. And then Jeremy Giambi was on the Royals and the Athletics and the Phillies before the Red Sox. Bob Howery was on the White Sox before the Red Sox. Let's see. Damian Jackson was on the Indians. Then the Reds, Padres, Tigers, and then the Red Sox. And I'm referring them as the Indians because that's what they were, the Guardians used to be called up until now, which last year they changed to the Guardians. Which I will be, in the Red Sox year, for the Red Sox yearbook videos up until 2022 onwards, I will be referring the Guardians as the Indians until I review next year's yearbook, which will be 2022. Just thought I'd point that out for anybody who's curious. But anyways...
Back onto the career statistics. Alright. In the newer Red Sox yearbooks, surprisingly, they actually stopped including these. I don't know why, but the career statistics was actually a really nice touch because it basically shows a card of each player and their career statistics, which is actually a nice touch. And then Ramiro Mendoza, he was on the, uh, let's see, uh, Yankees, Devil Rays, and then the then, then the Yankees again, and then the Red Sox. Kevin Miller was on the, uh, let's see, Marlins, then the Red Sox. Doug Mirabelli, of course. He was on the Giants, Rangers, then the Red Sox. Then he was on the Padres. Then he went back to the Red Sox in, I think, 2006 or seven. I don't know. He was traded to the Padres where he was there for a season. Then he came back, which I believe he came back in 2007. All right, Bill Moeller. Let's see. He was on Giants, then the Cubs, and then the Red Giants again, then the Red Sox, which he was on the Red Sox for three seasons. So was Bronze on Arroyo. Todd Nixon was traded to the Indians. I know that. He was traded in like the mid, I think 2005 or 6. I don't remember off the top of my head. And then David Ortiz played on the Twins from 1990. Let me think. What year? He was on the Twins from 1997 to 2002. And then the Red Sox from 2003 to 2016. Robert Person, he was on, let's see. Yankees, Blue Jays, Phillies, then the Red Sox, and a bunch of minor league teams. Brian Roop was on the Devil Rays, then the Red Sox. Andy Scheel was on the Padres before he went to the Red Sox. Earl Schneider was on the Indians before he came to the Red Sox. And then Mike Timlin played for like a bunch of teams. He was on the Blue Jays first. Then the Mariners, then the Orioles, then the Cardinals, then the Phillies, and then the Red Sox, and just a bunch of other teams. I mean, he played for a lot of teams, trust me. <laughs> Yeah, and Kevin Toller was on a bunch of teams, too. He was on a bunch of minor league teams. And then he was on the uh, Tigers and then the Red Sox. And Todd Walker was on the, uh, let's see. He was on the Twins, then the Rockies, then the Reds, and then the Red Sox. Steve Woodard was on, let's 